oh my gosh i love it when my nigga compliments me <gasps> yes compliment me tell me i look good tell me i'm the sexiest woman on earth tell me i'm the most beautiful woman you've ever set your eyes on tell me i'm the woman of your life the love of your life tell me i'm the mother of your kids like yes baby compliment me gas me i need it i'm so sorry i need it inject it <laughs> Hello my loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bastiana Joyce, if you guys are new here, hello and welcome. I feel like I haven't done a sit down in so long. Get ready with me whilst I talk to you about some other things I am not compromising on whilst I'm in this dating era of my life because period, we gotta know our boundaries. <laughs> we gotta know our needs and wants, okay? Before we get started, a moment for the brows. Like my brows have been eating and I hit the jackpot with a brow lady at Superdrugs. I just need to make sure that I go on the days that she's working because my brows are eating. I'm so in love with them. Obviously, before we even get to the point of figuring out your character, your values and your personality and characteristics and stuff, you must have already passed the physical attraction stage. Like I must be physically attracted to you for us to even be speaking, for us to be getting to know each other and learning about one another. Like I would have to be attracted to you. Like looks are so important to me. Like I cannot be with someone that I am not attracted to. I cannot look at someone that I don't want to like rip their clothes off. Like it just I can't <laughs> I literally just can't and obviously there must have been some level of like chemistry for me to like I don't know like give you my number or give you my socials or even like be chatting to you like face to face however it is that we meet there has to be a level of connection a level of chemistry um whether that's like through humor or like a common interest like there has to be some relatability some chemistry a little bit of passion a little bit of you know boom, boom, boom. do you know what i mean so like aside from that this is what we're talking about like this obviously physical attraction and chemistry and all of that is obviously key and it is the first thing that i go off of and then obviously once we get to the talking stage that's when we get down to business that's when we find out who's really who i would like to say there is no particular order with these five points but there absolutely is because this one is the key this one is the center this one is the be all or end all like i will absolutely not compromise on this and I will not be with anyone that doesn't meet this criteria. So I guess we can say that this is number one, this is priority. I need to be with a man of God and I will not compromise on faith, on values. I believe that me and my husband are to be of the same faith after, are to hold the same beliefs, the same values. I need someone that believes in the same God that I do, Jehovah Jireh, Yahweh, Elohim, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit. I need you to believe in the same God that I believe in. There's no way that we can live long term, build a life together, have this partnership for life and does not hold the same values and does not having the same belief system. It just it's just not gonna make sense to me. I need a relationship where we can strengthen each other's faith, we can encourage each other's faith and grow in Christ, grow together. I have heard stories of long-term relationships um, that are multi-faith, um, but as for me and my household, no. I definitely want kids. I want at least three kids or some, at least three, I want at least at least two kids i'm obviously going to want to bring up my kids in church and instill them the values of spirituality of god of oneness in them from a very young age so we can't they can't now have a dad who thinks opposite or doesn't have the same passion and conviction that i do when it comes to faith that's just going to cause a lot of confusion for the kids and yeah i just want everything to be in unison i want everything to be you know tied in together i don't want no ifs and buts i don't want no confusion in the household like we all have to be one one band one song or something i can't imagine myself growing stronger in christ whilst my husband is growing further away from christ like i just can't do that i just don't think that no, I don't think. It's not something I can compromise on. Obviously, we're believing in the same God. We'll believe in the same values. We'll, be, we'll have the same morals. Um, and from that, obviously, comes, like, the fruits of the Spirit. So, like, 
trustworthiness, honesty, um, gratitude and patience and care and love and joy and peace like i want my husband to value the same things that i value i want my husband to aspire to be like christ the same way i aspire to be like christ because christ is the epitome of humanity he is what god intended us to be i can't be trying to better myself in every way that i can and my husband not being the same, we're just gonna clash. I'm not dating just today, I'm actually not dating for fun. Like, I've, I've done that, like I've actually done that. And yeah, I'm not doing it anymore, like I can't be asked. Like I'm actually looking for something long-term and for us to be together long-term, you need to believe in Jesus Christ. Number two on the list of things that I am not willing to compromise on is ambition and stability. I need someone who has um a sense of purpose someone that feels like they're living for something and not just letting life take them i need someone who has goals someone who lives for something someone who knows what they want in life someone who has a clear idea of where they want to go of who they want to be i need someone who has ambition i can't be with someone who's happy to not chase their dreams who's happy not to go after the things that they want and just be like stagnant in life I think that's such a dangerous state of mind to be in because what are you actually living for I feel like that will definitely take you down into a depressive state of mind into a depressive mental state because what are you living for like what are you actually living for and with the stability heavy on the financial stability let's get into it <laughs> i need security man like i need safety i need security i can't be feeling like i can't rely on you for certain things and i don't i don't want to feel like you have to rely on me for certain things i do hold some traditional values in that a man is to be the provider of the household and me as a woman i'm to be the nurturer the mother the carer of the household so i'm very much happy to take care of my home of my husband of my kids but i'm also going to need a man who provides i'm going to need a man who is stable financially who is ambitious and is seeking to give us the world and more do you get it like there's 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 no way i can be with someone who is like not trying to give me the world <laughs> give themselves the world like i can't give our kids the world like i can't i can't do that furthermore we can't have two shopaholics in a relationship we can't have two people with poor money management in the relationship we can't have two people with impulsivity when it comes to finances we can't i will take that role my bible tells me that the husband will rule over the wife so i i hold those values i hold the values of the man being the leader the man being the provider the man being the head of the home and providing and i expect that i really do expect that if you don't believe that as a man you should be able to provide then we obviously can't be together if you don't believe that as a man you should have security financially so that i feel safe and secure then we can't be together there's no way i can't lie to you i have high standards and there's a specific place where i want to be in life where i'm traveling the world buying what i want to buy eating what i want to eat giving back to my community to my family like i want to be at such a comfortable position for myself that i can't imagine being with someone who doesn't also aspire to be in that similar position i can't be with someone who's not willing to live the same lifestyle as me because i can't lie to you i'm very materialistic like i like nice things like i really do i really have expensive tastes can't have someone who doesn't aspire to have more who doesn't aspire to be more i think the key words from this is me feeling safe and secure i can't be with someone that i don't feel safe and secure with if you're not giving me that safety whether it be emotional or financial stability like i can't be with you because i don't feel secure and i'm done like being in situations where i feel insecure like i'm feeling insecure in a sense where i don't know if you like me or i don't know whether i can call you to ask you for such and such because oh my gosh like will he expect me to pay for this or oh my gosh like am i gonna have to pay on a date or oh my gosh like is he going to ensure that we have a savings 
for our travels? Is he going to ensure that we have a savings for our kids? Is he going to ensure that we have a savings for our home? Are you thinking about these things? Because if not, then we can't be together. I need to feel secure. I need to feel safe in our relationship. And I feel that financial stability does that. And so does emotional stability. And we're going to talk about that in more detail. I'm too funny. I don't even know if I'm like articulating myself the way I would like to articulate, but y'all get the gist, right? Let me know in the comments if y'all get the gist and let me know if you can relate. Like, ladies, ladies, let me see you get down low. Ladies, let me know. Okay, so the next thing that I'm not willing to compromise on is emotional intelligence and availability. I'm done dealing with nonchalant men. I'm so, so done. <laughs> so done. Those days are over. I need someone who's able to have clear communication. I need you to be tapped in. I need you to be tuned in. I need you to know how to tune into your emotions, how to tap into your emotions. I need you to be able to communicate your emotions, to be able to articulate yourself to me, to be able to tell me when you feel a type of way, to be able to tell me when you are in love with me <laughs> to be able to tell me how much you love me how much you like me to be able to tell me when i look nice to be able to tell me babe you did this and that wrong to be able to check me to be able to check yourself reflection we need reflection we need self-reflection i'm done dealing with nonchalant men that cannot express how they're feeling or simply do not want to express how they're feeling i just believe that that is such a toxic way of being and you need to heal first and foremost like you actually need to heal that goes back to me feeling safe and secure i'm gonna be so insecure if you can't tell me how you feel if you can't express that and things to me like what we actually talking for what are we in a relationship for what's the point if we can't talk to each other if we can't express our emotions to each other and also i'm someone who really like i love me like some deep conversations deep chats like that is basically my brand like i love deep conversations and like getting into it like tell me your traumas baby like i need to i need to know i want to know and i'm obviously willing to do the same so it's like i need someone who's like on the same intellectual level as me someone who's on the same emotional level as me someone who's open to have those deep conversations someone who is able to reflect, is able to reflect on their life, on their emotions, on their behaviors. Someone who's like tuned in, tapped in. I need you to be expressive and I need to feel like I can be expressive to you. I hate being around people that I don't feel like I can talk to. What the heck is that? Imagine being with someone, like being in a relationship with someone you don't feel like you can talk to. Make it make sense, it don't. If I meet someone and we hit it off, I find you attractive and there's a little bit of chemistry and then we get to talking and I'm seeing that you're a bit <laughs> or just like, don't give a heck. Like, it's a no from me. Like, miss me with that, like, next. And if you are the way that you are because of certain things that have, like, happened in your childhood and, like, you know, you're this way because of, like, trauma, then heal. And I'm not saying heal as in like a magical like heal button. I'm saying no, like have some self-reflection, go through your healing process, which is not a linear process, by the way. It's not like a, a one day process. It's obviously a life process for you to like heal from certain traumas, certain things that have happened to you. The important thing is that you are willing to, are willing to heal, are willing to go through the process and are willing to like learn more about yourself and understand why you, way that, why you are the way that you are. Start opening your mouth and talking to people. Go to therapy, go to church, start praying, start a prayer diary. Do something to be able to heal because I'm not, I'm not going to be with someone who ain't healed or is not trying to heal themselves. We're at an age where it's like, mate, get your, get your stuff together. Like, let's be mindful. Let's be cutesy. Let's be the mirror. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, have some, have some, have some introspection. I need someone who introspects. I need someone who has that 
emotional maturity to be able to reflect on their past, on their emotions and their behaviours and really understand why they are the way that they are. Like, I need that. I can't be with someone who's just like, doesn't care about these things. I can't. The one thing I've realised, oh my gosh, I love it when my nigga compliments me. <gasps> yes. But yes, baby, like, compliment me. Tell me I look good. Tell me I'm the sexiest woman on earth. Tell me I'm the most beautiful woman you've ever set your eyes on. Tell me I'm the woman of your life, the love of your life. Tell me I'm the mother of your kids. Like, yes, baby, compliment me, gas me. I need it, I'm so sorry, I need it. Inject it. I literally cannot do without, like, there's no way. Now that I've experienced what that is like, like to, to actually have that day to day, like when I'm talking to someone, I can't do without. I need someone that like gasses me and like really boosts my self esteem because obviously naturally I'm a pretty girl. I know I'm a pretty girl and I have that confidence. I have that self esteem to know that I'm a beautiful girl and I am valuable and I'm worthy and all of that stuff. But to hear that from an external source and that external source being your babes like top two feeling like and i can't i can't be with someone who's not willing to give me that i can't i can't i can't i need you to be expressive i need you to be expressive next thing that i am not willing to compromise on and i need in a partner is leadership i can't be the one wearing the pants in a relationship uh -uh. Uh -uh. Get somebody else to do it i need a confident leader someone who is able to take initiative take action one thing that i've realized recently well not really but like i guess in relation to dating as the oldest child and as firstborn daughter i've always carried this huge weight of responsibility like i've always like had to you know set the example i've always had to look out for other people look out for my siblings and like i've always been the go-to person that is just like the norm in black african households where the oldest daughter you know takes on you know almost the, the role of the second mum so growing up as that growing up in that in that kind of environment where i'm heavily relied on heavily depended on i've always just carried like this weight of responsibility of always having to look out for other people and do things for other people i need to be with someone who is able to lead who is able to do things without me asking who is able to make decisions because i hate making decisions like i'm so indecisive and i just feel like i've made enough decisions in my life like when it comes to our relationship i need someone who is able to take on that role of a leader who's able to take on that role as um the doer I need you to wear the pants. I can't be the one wearing the pants. I cannot be with someone who is not going to lead our relationship. In a relationship, I definitely need someone who's going to do things for me. Actually, as a woman in my femininity, my feminine energy, I'm gonna want to do things for my husband and my boyfriend and stuff, but I definitely need that to be done for me first so that I can feel safe to do so. So I definitely need a leader, someone who takes initiative, someone who's confident, someone who's able to make decisions, someone who's able to do things without me asking them to do them. I just think that's so sexy, so key, like injected. I've come to realise that acts of service, words of affirmation, like they are so key to me. They might be the key in love languages to me right now. Like I love physical touch and quality time and that, but like when it comes to like the sustainability of a relationship, acts of service, words of affirmation, key, like there's no going without like i am not compromising on those things like you have to love me in those ways you have to love me in all the languages but i can't i cannot go without any of these two things okay so next thing i am not willing to compromise on is someone who is family oriented so i've got a big family <laughs> who are quite loud quite obnoxious at times I'm just very Angolan like if you know Angolans then you know what I'm talking about like we're just so loud and Angolans are excited like they're such excited people <laughs> good vibes though like one thing about Angolans like we are the best vibes like 
we are literally like the life of the party um so like i've got a big family and i'm quite close to my family like i said i'm the oldest child of five in my home and then i have like another two three on my dad's side so like i have a lot of siblings i have a lot of aunties and uncles and my family is just big and i'm quite close to them especially my immediate family like my parents and like my siblings and my auntie and stuff like i'm quite close to my family and like i said they depend on me a lot and i depend on them like i don't think i, I wouldn't be able to live without my family like i need my family i need my siblings so it's like I'm very close to them so in order for you to come into my life you're also going to have to be accepting of that i believe that the way in which a man treats his family his siblings his parents is very telling of like how he's going to treat me and my family my mum always says to pay attention to how a guy treats his mum because that is the biggest indicator as to how he's going to treat you so i definitely need someone who values family and their family connections who values spending time with their family who values their parents because if you don't value your parents who are you gonna value like really and truly like if you do not value your parents who are you going to value yeah i need someone who holds the same family values and you know is gonna be willing to accept my family as her own is going to want to build our own family and do and be willing to commit to create the most healthy loving family that there is like with god in the center and stuff so i need someone committed to be with an angolan babe <laughs> like you have to be committed to the angolan genre like it's a genre um because i'm most likely going to marry a non-angolan i've accepted it like i don't think <laughs> an angolan is for me i can't even lie so anyone i go into a relationship with um marry and stuff like i do believe it's going to be non-angolan so it's like they have to adopt another culture um which is obviously harder than being with someone who is of the same culture so yeah it'll take a very specific type of person to be able to integrate into my family and really like you know love them as i love them so that is very key because my family isn't going anywhere so if you can't get along with my family my family can't get along with you then we're obviously gonna have hiccups and issues and quite frankly let's try and avoid that please and thank you so yeah, I need someone committed to this cause, to this Angolan family, to this Angolan babe, like. So guys, this is a finished look and that is my list of things that I am not willing to compromise whilst I'm in my dating era, looking for a boyfriend, for a husband. Um, yeah. We have to be very demure, very cutesy, very mindful of our needs and wants. And I'm at an age where I am not dating just to date. Like I've mentioned in the video, I don't know how many times, but I'm not dating just to date. I'm definitely dating for a long-term relationship for something serious and these are just some of the things that i am not willing to compromise on and i will exercise these boundaries and this level of self-love whilst i'm dating out here in these streets in these cold streets but i'm gonna stick to my boundaries stick to my values my morals my needs and wants and i am not compromising on it so yeah i encourage you guys to also sit down with yourselves and really establish what it is that you want in a man what it is that you don't want for anyone that believes in christ that believes in god i encourage you to write this in prayer and really give it to god so that he knows exactly i mean god already knows what we want but the scripture does say to rejoice always pray continually give thanks in all circumstances for this is god's will for you in christ jesus and it also tells us to not worry about anything but pray about everything tell god what we need and give thanks for all that he has done so god wants us to have that communication with him god wants us to tell him what we want like he wants that kind of conversation that relationship with him he already knows our heart's desires but it's important for us to have that relationship with him that communication with him so if you are in a season of dating where 
you know you have specific needs specific wants i advise you to really introspect and look at what it is that you need and give that to god in prayer and i pray that he answers those prayers for you in the name of jesus because i'm claiming it for myself and i'm claiming it for all my friends all my loved ones because we are not settling for anything like we are getting everything that we deserve because we are worthy of such love period in the mighty name of jesus i pray amen thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you for sticking with me till the end if you did i love you and i appreciate you so yeah i expect to see you back here next week for another video make sure to give me a thumbs up make sure to comment what your non-negotiables are and yeah subscribe yeah that's it from me thank you guys so much for watching i love you and i appreciate you and i will catch you in the next one ciao